Welcome back. I am here for our third and final First Impression Friday of this recent drop from the Big Four. Um, they launched this new website and released three collections at the same time. So I've already done McCall's and Butterick, and now we are going to take a look at the new Know Me patterns. This is their third drop, I believe. And um, I'm excited to see not only like what the designers have created, but if there are any new designers here um, and just, I just feel more connected to this brand because these are creators, you know, these are makers just like all of us. So that's really exciting. Okay. First up we have Gwen made, this is Gwen Stella, Gwen Stella made, um, made this cute little vintage number short sleeve dresses feature placket and button detail with flat peter pan collar belt with button closure and invisible back zipper bb has pleated bottom band and contrast details and there's a sew along i have a feeling there's going to be a sew along for most if not all of these patterns i think that's kind of becoming the like standard, which I think is great. You guys love them. You learn a lot from them. I wish there were more of them whenever I was learning how to sew. So, um, it's yeah, that, I, I mean, no complaints there about that, but I mean, this is just the sweetest, cutest little number, isn't it? I mean, not my style, but if you're into like cutesy vintage stuff, like this is really, really adorable. Um, it's got the Peter Pan collar, the three buttons down the front, which I think are not functional. Um, same with this belt. It's just decorative. And then she put the little, um, pleating down here on the bottom of the skirt. Here's the, I guess, simpler version. So sweet. Let's see. Okay. She has it paired with socks and little like Mary Janes. And in the back that I guess it has an invisible zipper back there. That's what I was looking for. Um, yeah, invisible zipper straight down the back. Really, really cute. And, you know, it fits her wonderfully. That's the other thing that's really great about these patterns. It's because the makers, the designers are the ones who are making them and making the samples. They're making them for themselves. And so they usually fit really, really good. All right. This one, she recommends cotton blends, double knit, gingham, linen blends, PK, poplin, sateen, stretch wovens, and ponty. Yeah, totally agree. Um, I'm getting kind of like diner vibes if I look at this, just the line drawing. Um, this comes in sizes 8 to 26. Um, that gives you a bust, a finished bust of 35 and a half to 52. Um, so that's what, four inches of ease at the bust. The waist is pretty fitted, um, two inches of ease at the waist, and then your hip is about four inches of ease. So, um, semi fitted in the bust and hips and then fitted in the waist. Cute. Yeah, she did a great job with those samples for sure. Like, like call a spade a spade, right? If you like vintagey, cutesy, you know, very specific style, like lean into that, make your fabric represent that, you know, just really, really lean into it, which is what she did. Okay, next we have crop tops and pants from Ella, the Handmade Millennial. Is this her first collection? I can't remember. Pullover tank or cap sleeve crop top with square neckline and barrel leg pants have a fun curved color blocking detail. The pull-on pants have front waistband with elastic at back and side seam pockets. And yes, there is a so along now if you've ever done concave and convex curves you know they are a little bit tricky so this is a little bit more difficult of a pattern but the square neckline i'm loving like the 70s of it all i love um that she used like such fun colors not just like black and white or like traditional colors um even the white and gray that that's so chic and i also think it would be really cool too if like, I don't, if you played around with it some, like maybe didn't do this contrast in pink, you know, maybe kept all of this, the, the mustard, you know, and like played around with some of the 
some of the color blocking. I was thinking leave this one all yellow. That way it would be more of like a asymmetrical type of thing. Right, and then here's the white one again. A little bust start there. Some kind of either facing or lining. I'm going to assume it's facing. You have to be really careful with fabric choice here because we are working on so many curves. Um, you just want to make sure that they don't grow, that they don't pucker, that they don't, you know, like a lot can happen. Oh, look, the back looks cool too. Oh, and when you stand with your legs together, they make this little like U shape. I didn't realize that. I wonder if it does the same thing from the front. Yeah, it does. Same from the front. Okay, cool. I don't know that I love the barrel shape, but the idea of it is the, the collar blocking and the curves is really, really fun. Um, okay, so chambray, cotton blends, lightweight stretch wovens, and linen blends. The contrast can also be a double knit of French cherry, ITY, really, or Ponty. Um, I, I do think the trickier the fabric, the harder it is to work with, the more difficult time you'll have, obviously, but in ways that you may not have come across before, like working with a fabric on curves is different than any other kind. So like a tighter woven, like a tighter weave is usually better. Like even if it's lighter weight, even if it's chambray, like try and find a finely, like closely woven chambray. Um, so you just need elastic for the back of the pants. Um, and then sizes eight to 26. And it's not that fitted really anywhere. The bust is going to have quite a bit of ease. Yeah, five and a, six and a half inches, uh, three inches for the waist. And then the pants have a hip measurement or a hip ease of six or so, six or seven inches. Yeah. Fun. I love that one. Okay, cool. Yeah. Yeah. That one's really neat and interesting. You'll definitely get people asking, oh my gosh, where did you get that? Okay. Now we have, is this Norris? Yep. This is Norris. I want to make my screen brighter. Um, doing the cool guy thing, you know, as he always does. So this is a knit short sleeve polo shirt with collar and three buttons paired with a slim fit bell bottom trouser with front, front slash pockets and button through welt back pockets. Whew. Okay, so no sew along for him. Interesting. Um, but you have your traditional polo, which I think you can use like a PK knit for that, right? Um, I love that he's giving the guys like classic basics. Um, I think that that's, you know, kind of hard to find for the guys out there. But then you have this um, button front, like a little button tab, trouser slash pockets. These are the buttons through the back of the pant. I mean, white's kind of a bold choice, but, and then he did this little like, uh, like a, and it's not a pleat. It's just like a pressed, what is that called? I don't know. Little pressing detail. And they say bell bottom, but I mean, I'm not really getting like bell bottom, bell bottom. They're not like completely covering his shoe. They're just a little bit flared for a guy. But again, always just the coolest. Okay. And you can even see here, they're not super bell bottomy. Okay, stretch knits such as bamboo, ITY, jersey, single knit. Hmm. Yeah, I think, if you, I think if you made this shirt out of ITY, you would be a little bit disappointed. That's like a, it's a odd choice um, for 2023. Um, even bamboo, that's so lightweight. I don't know that many guys would be very comfortable in that. Midweight jersey for sure, something with some texture like I was thinking, like a PK knit. I mean, what are polos usually made from? 
Um, and then the pants you can make from bottom weights. So cotton blend, gabardine, lightweight wool blends, linen blends, satin. Huh. Make satin pants with an ITY polo shirt. Go for it. Go for it. Um, and then stretch wovens. The lining for the pants, I guess, for the pocketing, cotton blends, polyester, and then there's lightweight fusible. And then just your usual notions. I don't know much about guys sizing or fitting or any of that, so just take all this in. But yeah, the fabric choices are odd. I wonder if he ever says what he sewed his out of. And I also wonder if you can get that fabric at Mimi, his wife's fabric store. That's the questions I'd be asking if I were going to make that. Okay, next up we have a men's top hoodie and pants from Scorpio. He is Sins of Many on the internet. Oversized top has V-neck with ties, optional hood, dropped shoulders, and raw edges with top stitching. Wide leg pants have slightly flared hem and ties at bottom. Elastic waist with drawstring curved pockets and optional contrast side stripe. Yeah, super cool. And then here's the like little gathered hem of the pant. Interesting. This is definitely not Dan's style, but it's cool. I kind of wish he could pull something like this off, but he can't. There's no way. He would look so silly. Um, oh, okay. Wow. Yeah. That fabric, I would have looked at it and thought instantly like so feminine, but he really did make it you know, pretty masculine. That's pretty cool. Okay, here are the pants, like, not done up. Not without the drawstring at the bottom. I think these are, like, velour or something. This outfit's got to be comfortable. Um, yeah, cool, cool. All right. All right. It's like a men's version of a tunic, kind of. You know, like the same way we would wear a tunic. That's how they're doing it. So cotton blends, lightweight denim, linen blends, and knit. I mean, that's just so broad. Um, but for sure, linen blends. Um, and then your notions. So there's um, grommets. Oh, to do the little tie. Um, there's elastic, twill taper cording, elastic cording, and barrel stops. Yeah, all of that makes sense. Okay, good. You couldn't really see the pocket detail from the pictures because the little tunic was covering it or the top was covering it, but you can see them here. Like a lot of detail in those. Cool. Okay. Now, who's next? We have Corny Rainbow. Yeah. Um, so this is Nefertiti, the corny rainbow. Um, she has a shirt dress and knit tank dress. Oversized sheer button front dress with French seams has high-low hem and optional contrast. Sheer shirt dress is worn over the slim fit sleeveless knit dress. Okay. So it's like a two-piece set. I'm kind of confused. What am I looking at? They both look like a shirt dress. I don't see the slim fit knit dress anywhere. Hold on. Is that, is that it? Does it go? No, that can't be it. Hold on. Oh, this is sheer. So, okay, so, this, all of this under here, all of this is the close fitting dress underneath. Interesting, okay. Now that I've made heads or tails of that, it's kind, honestly, it's kind of hard to take it all in. I'm having a hard time like processing what's what's what, like what belongs with what, but it basically it's like a sheer overlay is really all it is. Um, the design of the shirt dress has this little like stand collar 
um, a little bit of a drop shoulder, a band at the sleeve hem, and then this big band that's like high low at the bottom. It's like a sheer overcoat kind of thing, but I think that this is just the dress part. Yeah, because there's the little band. So that's with like no contrast. This one has a sheer contrast. I wish they showed more of this. I'd like to see what that, I mean, now I can see obviously that it has a scoop neck and all of that, but I just, I don't know. I'd like to see, I guess it's just a tube dress. So they're like, what's the big deal? Um, so for that um, fitted dress, stretch knits only, such as interlock, ITY, jersey, and rib knit. And then for the like overdress, um, Batik, chambray, cotton blends, cotton lawn, jacquard, linen blends, shirtings, and voile. Also in burnout, Georgette, novelty shears, and organza. All right, eight to 26. You only need a few buttons for notions. And I imagine the, <clears throat> the dress A has some kind of negative ease, does it? No. We've got one and a half inches of ease in the bust, which I don't think you should have any for something that close fitted with those kinds of fabrics. Um, and then the dress bust is, there's a lot of ease there, which that all makes sense. So, okay, yeah, I think they could have done a better job with the photos, just like even this one, she could have not buttoned it up so you could see what was underneath it or at the very least take a few photos that are like that so that I can I can understand exactly what's happening. Um, I don't know that you would need to wear the like knit dress underneath this one. Obviously the other one because it's sheer, but this is just a dress all in its own, yeah? Let's see what this looks like. Yeah. Yeah, I wish somehow this felt more a part of this when you didn't make it sheer. If you decided to not make it sheer, I wish they, I don't know how they could come together without it being sheer, but I'm just thinking out loud. Okay. Okay, next we have Marsha. Yeah, Marsha at um, Kichi B style. Short romper and floor length jumpsuit with very wide leg opening. Both feature large collar, three front buttons, loose fit sleeves, optional fabric covered belt, side pockets, and interesting contrast fabric detail. No sew along. Okay, so we've got a 70s throwback, wide leg, jumpsuit, and romper. It is interesting. I, You know, obviously they picked these particular creators and makers to design patterns because of their unique point of view when it comes to fashion. So they're, they're not going to be the stuff that you see in the store. That's made evident the last three or so that I've seen um, really are unique and, and you stand out when you wear them. Um, that kind of makes me nervous, to be honest. I don't like to stand out a lot, believe it or not. Um, I like to make beautiful things, but I don't know about standing out. And these both feel very much like you are going to get a lot of attention <laughs> whenever you wear them in the best way possible. But that makes me a little bit nervous. Um, they, I mean, they're beautifully thought out, like the way that the contrast is done here to, you know, create some slimming, um, like tricks of the eye. Um, and then this, I don't know how hard that is to sew, but it seems like it would be really hard. You button, you button to get in and out of it. There's a little belt to cinch in the waist. I feel like there's like a, some flutters situation happening with the sleeve. I mean, just like kind of like blur your eyes a little bit and take in the shape that that is giving you on her body. Like she looks like a pencil. 
You know what I mean? Like, she just looks so thin. All you see is the white. Um, and all of this kind of just, like, disappears. It's really kind of cool um, how you can do that with colors and fashion. Oh, and then there's the back. Yeah, it almost makes me want to feel like this black part is like a cape or something. It feels separate, but it's not. It's all one. It's all one. So the belt is separate back and then your two fronts, but there's two contrasts, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, and she even put the colors that she used in the pictures to help you understand that. Thank you. Thank you. Like sometimes when you go to make this stuff and it has the contrast and you want to do it, it's just so complicated to make heads or tails of, you know, what's what, especially when you're at the store and you're trying to buy your fabric. So just adding that one word, those few letters, um, really, really makes a big difference. So she's thinking of us as buyers and I really love that. Cotton blends, crepe, crepe de chine, rayon, silky types, viscose, which is a brand of rayon, um, some fusible interfacing, and then you need A and B. Oh, so there's a zipper here and then buttons, the buttons only go down to the waist and then zips below that. Okay. Um, and then you need one inch buttons, right? Is that what that says? Four one inch buttons. Yep. A two inch buckle and a snap. So kind of expensive whenever you're getting into the notions on this one. Um, but pretty roomy all around. I wanted to see the waist has, yeah, 10 inches of ease in the waist when you're not, when you don't have the belt to cinch it in. So it is really loose fitting pretty much all around. So again, like I was saying in, was it the McCall's video? Like those are the ones where you really have to pay attention to like your shoulder and how, <clears throat> excuse me, how it fits through here and the collar and all of that. If it fits through here, and then it's super loose fitting everywhere else. It'll still feel like it fits you. Like a, one of those tricks you play on, you know, you, your eyes play on you again. Um, that plus like the color blocking and this could be like really fabulous. You also don't have to use the big one inch buttons. If that's like kind of freaking you out, you can make regular buttons. Um, same thing with the collar. You don't have to do a super pointed collar. You could um, adjust that. And then it becomes like a little less, um, a little less like decade specific, it, a little less of like a throwback and more modern, I guess is what I'm trying to say. But I love, love, love a jumpsuit. You guys probably know that by now. Okay, here is Aronica. Needle in the bell. She's had some really cool stuff in the last collections. I'm excited to take a closer look at this one. But it's a crop top, shorts, and pants. Lined crop top with separate pattern pieces for cup sizes, C, D, and double D. Um, I did have a problem with that in the McCall's release because I felt like in the women's patterns, they get, well, in that one, anyways, it said C slash D, not C comma D. And in, in, the misses category, you get A comma B, or I'm sorry, you get A slash B comma C comma D. So you get three options. And in that other one, the women's version, it was like C and D were one, and then you also got double D. This one, it looks like they at least separated out the C. So you do get three, but two of them overlap with the misses so that's that's just kind of confusing like I wish they would do D double D and then what's next triple D double E I don't know what how it goes on past that but I've literally never had to look that far <laughs> down the rack um because I've always never had boobs um okay so it has front and back seams optional straps side zipper and notch detail that's the top. Okay, shorts and extra wide leg trousers are high-waisted with fly front zipper, stitched down front pleats, and inseam pockets. And then you do get a sew along. Um, okay, let's take a closer look. So, cute little set, right? You have kind of like a crop top, um, almost like a, almost like a, not corset, what am I thinking? 
Oh, I can't. After doing th this, my third one of these today, after doing that, my brain is a little bit fried. Um, but you get a little sweetheart kind of detail with this notch, a little baby strap or strapless, and then shorts or pants. Um, these are the stitch down pleats. So they kind of hold you in through your midsection and then release at the hip to create that really wide flare. And a really nice length on the short too. Good inseam length. Okay, here's the back. Oh, whoa, what just happened? What just happened? Whoa. Um, how do you get into this? Did they say there was a zipper or something on the top? I might have missed that. I was looking to see. If, I don't think it's in the back. It's got to be on the side. Um... Why does it keep doing that? I'm so sorry. Who is annoyed? I'm annoyed. There we go. All right, it's a little bit blurry of a photo. Um, not the best quality photo, but not, not much happening on the back other than the little darts. But I mean, the fitting looks good. I'm not seeing like wedgies or like the crotch curve looks good. All the usual things I look for. But yeah, how do you get into this top? There's no way you just pull it on. I like a plain back um, trouser with just a couple darts. I don't like to add a lot of interesting things going on back there. Um, yeah, a little side zipper on that top. Okay, so um, for both A, B, and C, or all three of them, um, cotton blends, crepe, fail, gabardine linen blends polyester rayon and then in the pants you can also make those in silky types okay i mean fair but yeah i guess you wouldn't want to make the top out of silky types but okay yeah all right all right all right i agree with that um so exposed separating zipper on that top um in the side I don't, how, how would that feel under your arm though? Exposed? I guess it, they're kind of smooth once you, like the teeth are smooth maybe. I don't know. I'd have to really feel that and see what that was like under my arm. I can be a little bit particular to like touch sometimes how things feel. Um, and then the pants get a zipper and a button. The sizing is 16 to 26. And it's all going to be... Well, I was just about to say it's all going to be very close fitting, but this says has 12 inches of ease in the bust. That's not right. It also says, what number is that? 38? No, 31? I don't know what number that is. 30 something. 38? There's an, is a 16 to 38? Maybe. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. Oh, 16 to 38. Oh my gosh, I'm so confused. 16 to 26, 28 to 38. But there's only, oh, none of these are finished. Oh gosh, that was so confusing. Okay, finished garment measurements are in the envelope. But you really shouldn't, I mean, there should be like one or two inches in the, in the bodice in the bust and then like two or three in the waist and then the hip should have like four or five. I guess when there's three, six, nine, 12 sizes, they have to put them on two columns like this. We've really got to figure out another way. I mean, do we need the French stuff to be on every single envelope? Like if we have to look in the inside for finished, can't you just have them do that? <laughs> Is that mean? I don't know. Oh gosh, that was just so confusing. It hurt my brain to figure that out. Because I was like, 12 inches? No way. That that cannot be right. Okay, now we've got a cute little dress and romper from Duana. Um, sleeveless mini dress and romper with curved placket detail. Has collar, invisible side seam zipper. Bodice and waist pleats and large patch pockets, placket and belt have snap closures. I mean, this cannot get any cuter. I love a cut back on like a halter style with a collar. This, I love this. Um, 
this feels like, okay. I think that it would be unintentionally great for breastfeeding mothers. <laughs> now you can't unsee that. I'm trying to decide for those of us who are not feeding a young child. Maybe I would like it more if this were just a little bit lower. For whatever reason, I like it on this side more than this side, and I have no idea why. There, that literally makes no sense. Maybe because the belt is contrast. That's the only thing I can think of. But I love this little romper. I love the little patch pocket on it. And this is super, super fun. You could also simplify this and just cut this along the center fold, you know, and skip this part. Or repeat this on this side and have two of them. Would that be more weird? <laughs> I don't know. That's for you to decide. But yeah, it's cool, right? Again, it's like people are going to say, where did you get that? Let me see that back. Oh, isn't that just so feminine and lovely? I just absolutely love like a cut in shoulder with a collar. Okay. Um, chambray, cotton blends, denim, linen blends, and stretch wovens. Yeah, for sure. Anything mid-weight, um, bottom weight, and even better if it has a little bit of stretch to it, like stretch sateen or like some kind of like stretchy twill, something like that. Um, and then the contrast, which I think is just the belt, can also be done in leather or micro suede. And then heavy duty snaps. You could also transfer those to be buttons. Um, invisible zipper for the back, right? Because it's a 14 inch zipper that you adjust to fit. And then single fold bias tape, maybe for the arm openings. So yeah, you get in and out of it through here. Uh, well, actually, I don't know. Maybe it's on the side. We'll have, I'll look at that in one second. Um, 8 to 26 on the size range. That's going to give us a waist. That's the most fitted part of this. 24 to 41 body measurement chart. And then A, B, waist. Um, so that's two inches of ease in the waist. That makes perfect sense. For what it's worth, the hips have different finished measurements by two inches. Wow. The pant, the shorts have more ease. Love that. That makes perfect sense to me. So the they have like um, five and a half. Cool. Let me look at those line drawings to see where the zipper goes. It doesn't show it. Is it hidden up here? Invisible side seam zipper. Okay, so it is supposed to have a little, you know, they do that little tag thing. They just left it off of this one. I love, there's a belt carrier in the back. That's super cool. I think it's really neat. I really do. I really, really do. Okay, now we have, who is this? Lydia? I don't think I know Lydia. I definitely don't. Lydia Naomi. I don't think I even follow her. Button front dress with short or flange sleeve has convertible collar, empire waist, and flared princess seam skirt. In some way, she looks familiar, but maybe I don't know her. Lydia Naomi. I'll have to look. But either way, super cute design, right? Really, really sweet. You've got this little notched collar with or without the sleeve. Um, but this one has like that, don't think you call it a flange. Did I say that already? Um, that little detail. And then underbust gathers. And then this little seamed skirt those are super flattering um and this one buttons up the front well they both do 
yeah, kind of retro, you know, kind of a throwback, mid-century vibes for sure. Yeah, this is definitely the cooler of the two options. I love the little flange detail, especially on like whatever fabric this is. I'm getting velveteen, but it could be just like a, a thicker twill. Oh, with the sneakers, adorable. Oh, and there's the back. You get another little row of gathers there, but still get the seamed skirt. So it's like fitted through here, you know, and then it flares out below the uh, hip. Yeah, this is really cute. Very cool. Okay, um, chambray, cotton blends, crinkle cotton, linen blends, pop blends, seersucker. Yeah, I definitely think you could go heavier weight, too. Um, and this version, I feel like you could make that even like a little bit on the drapey side. All right, nine buttons and a package of bias tape for the sleeveless version, 8 to 26 on the size range. Um, we've got a semi-fitted fit um, through the bust, and then the waist is fitted, and then the hip is, like, loosely fitting. So your typical, like, not necessarily like fit to flare, that would be fitted through the waist, um, but it's definitely uh, fitted at the waist. A little sew along to go with it. Love this with the sneakers, really sweet. Oops. All right, next we have the Stitch Fits. Oh, we have the same name. I've never heard of her either. Or at least I don't think I have. I don't know. I take in so much content. It's really hard. Um, if something just pops up every now and again. But we have the literal same name. Dress lined with bodice. Has low neckline and deep V back. What? We even like to wear the same things. To show a peekaboo halter bra look. Like a... Like a... Bralette? The short dress has two front slits. While the long dress has a high slit on one side. At princess scene. And then there's a sew along. Lindsay Fitzgerald. The stitch fits. So I love the two straps. That's what they're talking about with the halter, right? And then you get an underbust seam and two princess seams. You can um, do the little two slits. You can do one slit here. You can do two here also um, if you wanted two up the front. I don't see why not. Is this a seam? Maybe. If so, that's very reminiscent of um, Brandy Jones' new pattern. Brandy, not Brandy Jones, Brandy Joan, apostrophe S, Jones. Not like Brittany Jones, J-O-N-E-S. Oh gosh, it's getting late. Okay, um, let me see the back. Oh, it's all incorporated. So yes, you get the halter. This is sewn in, but you have to button it up yourself. I don't know that I could do buttons back there. I said this about like a Mimi romper a few seasons ago. How hard is it to do that? I think I would rather convert this to a shirt panel. Easy to do, and then that makes this whole thing like a pull-on Except for this. You still have to zip yourself into it, but the whole bodice becomes like a pull-on. Nice, deep dart here. Yeah, that's not a princess seam. It's just a dart. But it is nice and long. I like this. Lindsay. Yeah, and that is like a little design. I love this. I love this. My favorite so far. Cotton blends, crepe de chine, rayon, satin, silky types. Yeah, for sure. You could do a million things out below this underbust scene, too. You can do a gather and make a huge skirt. You can, like, really change this all up um, a million different ways just using that bodice over and over again because that's really the cool part. Um, one, two inch, mm, nope, 12 inch zipper, two one inch buttons for the little 
back detail. 8 to 26. Um, should be pretty fitted. Yeah, one inch of ease in the bust. The waist has two inches of ease and the hip has three inches of ease. So yeah, pretty fitted um, throughout. But like I said, you can change this up a ton of different ways. Let's look at the other line drawings. Okay, so it looks like... I don't know if this scoops around to join this. I don't know how that works. I'd have to look at the pattern pieces. But you could definitely let out some of this princess seam to give yourself some more room here and make it more of an A-line. Um, like I said before, you could just extend the side panels and have gathers going down the side and leaving this flat. Um, you could do a lot of different stuff to the skirt if you weren't if you didn't want to make it so fitted and kind of not that it's like a gown, but it it could go pretty fancy pretty easily depending on the fabric that you use. She chose two very casual fabrics, so that helps a lot. But um, if you did this in um, something a little dressier, it, it could look like a column gown dress thing. I do like it, though. All right, next up we have Butte du jour, j'adore. Butte, although didn't I just see, It's I think that there uh, some little like clip of her introducing herself went viral because wasn't she, isn't it Butejador? Butejador? And we've all been saying Bute this whole time because we don't, we're, I don't know why. Something. Anyways, uh, she's got a jacket dress, fully lined, double-breasted jacket dress, has collar lapel, welt breast pocket, three welt pockets with flaps, front and back darts for contoured shape and slim fit sleeves with flare at opening. So it's a blazer dress. Beautiful fisheye darts in the back. Three welt pockets. I don't know. I barely have enough patience for one. Um, so we'd have to see about that. This does feel a little bit tight on her through the hip, but man, look how pretty that sleeve is. I mean, stunning color too. She got her little nails to match. Yeah, great length. Yeah, the design is really, really good. And of course, these are doing a ton of work to provide all of this shaping through her, through the side of her body. Love that. Yeah, I it, here, you know what, here it does look a little bit boxier than it does on her, but that also might be, yeah, I don't know. The, the two aren't, don't really match to me, um, what she looks like in it, and then what, like, this looks like it has, like, a really deep curve. Maybe that's just because she's walking, and it's, like, the movement. I don't know, even that still. Maybe she can't help herself, and she's just going to have curves no matter what she tries to do. I know what that's like. I'm sure there's like shoulder pads and everything in here. Yeah, there is. It's like a legit blazer dress. That's so cool. Cotton blends, damask, gabardine, jacquard, linen blends, sateen, stretch woven, tweed, velvet, and wool blends. Um, yeah, but you could also do it in like suitings and stuff like that. For sure. Is the whole thing lined? Yep, fully lined. Amazing. That is really, really great. Good for her. Um, size 8 to 26. And it should be, yeah, fairly fitted in the bust with four inches of ease. The waist has the most ease and then five inches at the hip. But I don't think she has five inches on hers. I do think it's a little close fitting on her. Um, I'd like to see a little bit more ease there, which would prevent some of this wrinkling that's happening here and here. 
but easy, easy fix. And then you also get a full sew along, which if you, I mean, if you're making just even a blazer, that would be super helpful. It's the same, just a little bit longer. Making a welt pocket. I bet there's a good little tutorial for welt pockets in there. Okay, last one. We have this men's jacket from Norris. Um, men's casual work jacket has button placket, yoke, collar, pockets, bands at waist and cuffs, and back shoulder vents. Yep, it reminds me, of, is it knit the maker's jacket that some indie pattern company has? It reminds me of that, but it has this nice big pocket again. Once again, like these boxy men's jackets, I think would be super cool for a woman. It just cropped. Um, I think if you took this all the way up here and made it like waist length, it would be the, one of the coolest things. Um, but yeah, you have, I made this little detail on a recent, oh, was it the suede jacket for the sew along? One of those had this and all you guys commented too about how much fun that was to sew. I agree. It was. Um, and then he has the metal buttons, little patch pocket. What's the back look like? Yeah, just plain. That's nice. That's really nice. It'd be a few months before I would be able to wear anything close to a jacket again. So, um, really neat. It kind of is giving bomber vibes when you look at the line drawings. So you could swap out the bands and the collar for some ribbing. Frog cloth, canvas, chino, cotton blends, corduroy denim, micro suede, stretch wovens, twill, and wool blends. Yeah, lots and lots of options there. And then nine buttons. That's it. Okay, so that's Nomi Spring 2023. Some new faces. Three new faces to me. Um, Three, yeah. Maybe only two. Yeah. Um, but some really cute, very bold design choices, very unique makes for sure. I'm going to be grabbing this one. Um, I think that that would easily fit into my current lifestyle and aesthetic. I also really loved this little romper and the dress. So those are the three standouts for me. I'd love to know what you guys think. Um, let me know in the comment section below. Like I said, I already have the other two first impressions up, um, McCall's and Butterick. So if you haven't seen those yet, go check those out. Um, but leave your thoughts on this one in the comments below before you go. <laughs> uh, that's going to do it for me today, y'all. I will see you all very soon. Bye.